I've come in here today to set up a game camera. There'd be a game camera on this tree right here. I had one here last year and it did very well when it worked. Um, but during the rut, it failed to work for about six weeks. So I missed really the peak of um, what could have been a phenomenal uh, game camera season. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put a game camera up here. It's way early right now. Um, we, we still have some snow, um, snow's melting. I don't suspect that this area will get a lot of use for a little bit of time yet, but I wanna get my game cameras up here so I can get it off my list and get to other adventures. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this, with this here and this blowing, I'm afraid that it'll create triggers. And I could cut it off and I wouldn't feel bad about that at all, but I kind of like as much camo as I can. So I put a piece of wire here and I'm just gonna tie this back to this tree here. I think that will create less false triggers for my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that camera up here. It's gonna be in a bear box. There are bears that come through here. I would guess that the predation rate in this area in terms of moose calves is probably about 90 to 95%. And I'm basing that on last year there, I looked at between 15 and 20 cows that were in here. Only one of them had a calf at the end of the season, at the end of the summer. Um, each cow, generally speaking, throws two calves. Um, so realistically, we should have had between 20 and 40 calves in here, and I only saw one. That's not to say that I saw every moose that was in here, but for certain I did see 15 to 20 cows in here, and only one of them had a calf. So there could have been other ones hiding in other places, but I think that that's probably a fair measurement. Um, but there are a good amount of bears that come through here. Last year, there on this camera here, I picked I picked up um, probably three different grizzly bears and several black bears um, and a lynx and I think a coyote in here. think that the lynx or the coyote are very big predators for moose, um, but uh, most certainly the, the bears are. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this project.
Okay, so this is on photo mode now. I'm going to go out where I think the moose will be and see if it, if the camera takes pictures in the same area kind of that I'd like it to be taking pictures. All right, I walked back and forth there. I went out of the way. I just like to hold my hands up like this because I'm six feet tall. A moose at the shoulders is eight feet tall. And so this is about, you know, where their head would be basically. And so it kind of gives you a good idea. And plus it creates more motion to hopefully set off the sensor for the camera. turns out that that's a good angle that's a good field of view I think that it will pick up any moose that come through here uh, one of the mistakes that I have made in the past is I'll put up a camera not check the field of view don't see what it's taking pictures of and then you come back and you're cutting things off here you're cutting off you know right here and you can't see the antlers just weird things and so anytime you put up a game camera I think you should always check and see what pictures you're getting and what that was selected this location last year as the sun comes up over here and it goes down over here and so this one might get a little morning sun coming in it this way but the rest of the day it is really clear it's in a shaded area anyways and so it's not going to get a lot of sun on it um, and so this is a really nice location and there's just not another location close by that offers what this location offers. That's why I originally selected it. And so All right, this doesn't look like much. We got the spring runoff coming through here.